Hi there! Kingdom Hearts is one of my favorite game series. With recent events, I thought it would be fun to replay my second favorite installment, Rechain of Memories. This title is by no means a difficult one, even on proud mode, so I figured I'd attempt a challenge that I thought of a while back, Kingdom Hearts Recom with only one attack card. Originally, my idea was a playthrough with no attack cards, but the game doesn't permit you to use any decks with fewer than one. Of course, I could technically play the game and just not ever use the forbidden card, but I think the playthrough is more enjoyable this way because certain slights utilize a single attack card. The rules for this challenge are as follows. I may only have a single kingdom key in my deck for the whole game. That kingdom key must be a number one. I can sell all other attack cards I get for Moogle points. I can use the kingdom key in my deck as much as I want, even in slights. And for this specific run, I also wanted to see how long I could go without increasing Sora's HP. Finally, there really is never a reason to run from the encounters in this game, so I won't be doing that. With all that out of the way, it's time to get started. cards from my deck. The challenge is off to a good start. I can technically fight these enemies now, but the blue rapid is really difficult to deal with because I only have blizzard men. So, I only do battles until I can get a valid map card. Then I head to Leon and do the next tutorial which gives me Simba. Simba is great because it's non-elemental spread damage. So bye bye, blue boy. At level 3, Crowd Roar also stuns enemies if it doesn't finish them off. Pluto is hanging out here more because my deck is so small. before I get rudely interrupted by this guy with the spiky red hair. I'll make it all stop. Eat him some ice and he gives me fire. A very useful give me a break. based on the different cards or slights I can obtain there. In this case, I open a bounty and collect stop. Although it's not super useful on its own, it can help prevent incoming attacks for a bit. Its main use will be for certain slights later down the line. Getting this card at the earliest time possible means more chances for it to drop from environment rewards and Google shops. Fighting the playing cards catches me a bit off guard, Freeze. so I just dodge roll and... Uh, 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 uh. The new enemy for this world Freeze. are Creeper Plants. They are very annoying, their high ranked cards break mine often, so using slights is best. Fire. Maybe Wonderland first was a bit. Power! Okay. 
I am finally able to go to a Moogle shop and get a decent amount of cards for my deck. guy with spiky hair like Sora and find another fiery guy who begs to snap on I get a cloud card, which lets me do physical damage, although it's very unforgiving with aiming unless you stock three copies for Omni Slash. Next up is Agrabah, and silly me forgot to turn the recording back Freeze. on after a hit until halfway through the world. It's Freeze. okay though, because the only thing of note is that Aladdin is great for farming Wolf points. Aladdin! Yeah. Freeze! <laughs> get the genie card and I will never use it because it's trash. Hey, it's just in time for... never mind. I get Gifted Miracle from the bounty and head to fight Oogie Boogie. supposed to work, but I think the card breaks and attacking the dice are what level the game. Freeze! especially annoying because of the toxic floor of the arena. I tried to use some months for Courage! battle against the Heartless Horde isn't too bad, though. Power! Courage! Ah! 
Before going on to the next floor, you get rudely interrupted by this girl whose hair looks like a Shinra guard dog. Larxene can be pretty tough with how quickly she moves, so I do my best to keep my distance and break Lightning! Freeze! My reward is Thunder, which has the best range of the core 3 spells. I have a personal connection to the Little Mermaid, but that's a story for another time. World cards, I can start earning the key to rewards. This trope, isn't it neat? I get Homing Blazar from the Bounty and Quake from the World Rewards. Quake is one of my absolute favorite slights in the whole game, but for some reason they give it to you in the one world where every enemy is immune to ground damage. Ursula is no trouble given how slow her enemies are. Get ready for this! Freeze! This won't be cool! No. Freeze! This won't be cool! There! I get rewarded with my favorite song from the entire game. Wonderful shift of tone, I beat a Riku and get Arrow in the final magic card. Hey, Hollow Bastion! This song has a 5 4 time signature, so that's pretty neat. Yes! Some of the enemies here can be annoying. The wizards absorb magic, so Simba or Cloud are the best bet. Courage! The defenders can block attacks and like to turn Power. to face me no matter how fast ah. I roll. The friendship ends with Lazaga. Quake is now my best friend. Thunder! <laughs> 
Dragon Maleficent isn't too bad if I could manage to not dance on fire. it was this point that I switched over to playing on a PS5. I don't think the footage will look any different, but I was a happy boy the entire time. That was until I fought Riku again. Dodge rolling away and using my projectiles gives me a better chance of survival. I deserve a little break after the fresh heck I just endured. Some mini games would be the perfect way to relax. Okay, that is the first time I've ever failed that one. I blame it on input lag from my capture card. to get a good score on Tigger's Bounce, even though the reward is useless to me. Here's the final pattern I completed.
Hey, I don't remember deciding to play Dream Drop Distance. What a lot of honey! After all that, I ended up with Faraga Burst, Cross Slash Plus, Mega Ether, and Elixir. I also get Bambi. In Neverland, I get Glide, so large rooms are less painful to navigate. Neverland encounters can be a tad difficult, because the Pirate Heartless will stunlock and end my life if I take too long to get <laughs> Thankfully, Quake knocks them all away from me and I don't die too often. Gotcha. Thunder. Cook isn't too bad. He's immune to thunder for some reason, and has cards that can either give the random value or an all zeros effect. The hook card is very good, as I will see later. After that, I fight this creepy guy. It isn't awful after I remove the lizards from my deck. I guess he likes fighting. Fire. I shall freeze you! Fire! better than the updated one for some reason. Stardust Wood, which is Donald's counterpart to Goofy Smash. It's okay, but it could be useful if you want to guarantee Donald will only use fire magic.
Vixen is back, and he craves more spice. gives me a card as payment, and it is very useful. I fight Riku again. This is a running theme, I guess. This fight was similar to the previous one, just in place for error. Fire! 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 Yeah. Ah. Drop. Fire. Yeah. Ah. Heal! Yeah. 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 Like Sora's back home. Not really, though. The enemies here are fairly strong. I make my way to the reward room to get the final card, Megalixir. Fighting Dark Side can be tricky, but by just playing it safe, I make it through fine. door, and who do I see? It's Riku, again. This particular fight was a bit much. I think Freeze. I spent a good half hour or more on Freeze. it. Freeze. Heal. I eventually figure out that I can chain together Tornado, but only having four arrow cards makes choosing this battle a bit difficult. I utilize Mega Ether and Mega Lixir to get my arrow cards back. Also, I use both Vexen and Captain Hunter. Vexen's ability is auto lock, essentially a take back for the first time I die. Hook's ability is second chance, and J1 can It'll leave me with 1 HP when taking a huge attack, but it doesn't really work too well for multi Heal. Heal. Yes. Win. Freeze! 
finally made it to the 13th floor. The enemies here don't hold back, and I have my share of defeats. I get Raging Storm and Super Glide, but holy cow, the keycard rooms take a lot of map cards.
Thunder! Along the way, I level up and learn Holy, which I actually have a really good card set for. Axel shows up looking for his second course of snow, and I happily deliver. I make my way to the end of the floor. Things are coming to an end. This journey has been crazy, but I'm not letting up yet. Marluxia shows up, and he is no pushover. I die a few times before I figure out how to best go about this. Freeze. Essentially, I use lights to break his normal cards, oh, and zero cards to break his slice.
Your heart shall be judged. Heal! Heal! Lucia retreats and I chase after. Here's my deck going into the final battle. Emptiness will shatter your heart. Here in this world of nothingness. As lightless oblivion devours you, drown in the ever blooming darkness. Marluxia isn't too tough, especially compared to what I had to go through to get here. The strategy is just to wait for him to attack, then card break in response. I have to time my reloads carefully, because the restock animation leaves me wrong. Will be scattered. Fire. What? Do you want to scream? Fire! No Fire! 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 The world without light! Fire! Away! Fire! Fire! Fun! Fun! Your heart is under! Deal! Will be scattered. Freeze. Do you want to scream? Freeze. Freeze. No good. Freeze. What? No good. Fire. Fire. 
The world was fire. Your heart fire. You now know real fear. Heal. Freeze. Freeze. Fire. Thunder. Heal. Heart will be free. Do you Heal. want to scream? No good. Freeze. 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 Prepare. Fire. Yeah. Fire. Fire. To the world Fire. without fire. Behold. Fire. Thunder! Wind! Freeze! Heal! Heal! Heart will be scattered! Freeze! Do you want to scream? Thunder! Behold! Thunder! Huh. Thunder! Behold! Heal! <laughs> Freeze! No good! Freeze! <laughs> Fire! Huh. Fire! Marluxia Part 2, Electric Boogaloo, has him stand in one spot the entire time. This 
fight is tougher because he can play out Slice really fast and Wait, I have to do all that again? I actually ended up doing phase one five times in total. Do you want to scream? Yes! Anyway, the second phase has a couple of gimmicks to watch out for. Doom makes it so I have to break cards in succession or die in one. Whirlwind to the Void will make me trip or dump all of my cards, and Omniwazir won't stop until I die or break it. I have to break swipe three times in a row to get him to stop. Your cards will determine your fate. Fire! Your heart shall be judged. Your heart shall be Your heart shall be judged. Fire! Fire! 
Art shall be judged. Play. What? Heal. Lose Freeze. everything. Freeze. Scatter to oblivion. Your heart will be scattered. Filthy. What? Why? <laughs> Overall, I think I succeeded in finally making Recom challenging for myself. Whether that was from the card limit or the low HP, I had a great time regardless. Looking at my battle report, I finished this run in around 13 hours. How fitting. I also used Blizzaga enough times to give Axel a never-ending buffet. I've been thinking about doing this challenge for a while, so now I'm not entirely sure what I want to do next. I do have a few ideas, though. Until then! Till then, I'll be in your heart. Right. Forgotten. But not lost. <laughs>